from Clay Raheem to Dream Davis. Wonder Woman got her her uh, her cherry popped in the movie. Damn, from Emmett Bean. It's not like Wonder Woman television show. Okay, from Gilead Moon uh, Moonshine's finest. Thorny, I just step in and that was right on time. From uh, Rough Buff in the chat on Spreaker.com. DJ Nunu, hey mama in law. Um, from J. Clyde, is Wonder Woman black or white? No, she's white. From LD from the D, Gal Gadot can get it. I think that's the young lady that plays the Wonder Woman character in the movie, in the new movie. From Redland Ninjaville, Drunk Kirk. <laughs> oh, the, the the drunk of Ninjaville. Thorny, you don't want to see some sexy female colonizers being a hero. Laugh out loud. Sydney Jackson, my wife knows if Oprah calls are coming, I'm bouncing. <laughs> Oprah? Really, bruh? Really? <laughs> the Smoker Bella X Squad. Boris Kojo can get it every day and twice on Sundays. From Clay Raheem to Dream Davis. I'm really waiting on Black Panther next year. Can't wait till that movie comes out as well. From Thorny Switch. A sham like Woman Wednesday? Come on, Thorny. Come on, Thorny. From Nino the Wino, I leave my family for Fantasia. Bye, kids. Daddy got to go. Ooh. Fantasia is thick as, <laughs> thick as some fighty old grits, though, for real. Yeah, I can see that. I can see that. From Sluggo X Squad, that Jennifer Hudson is riding high as hell on my lip. <laughs> Jennifer Hudson? <laughs> oh, man. From Sandman, laugh out loud. I thought I was the only one that noticed that, Corey. I used to always look at her hands sideways. Mm. Who y'all talking about? Jennifer Hudson, she got man hands? That's not a good look. Not down with the man hands. From Tiffany Poole in Portland, Comptroller in Enville. Uh, Ninjaville, that is. And you're listening to the Doug Stewart Show. That's a good one, Ms. Mocha. I think mine is either Hassan Johnson, Weebay from The Wire. <laughs> Damn, you like the thugs. You like Weebay from The Wire? Or Morris Chestnut. Kelly Rowland is quite possibly the most beautiful woman on this planet. And T.I.'s new chick. Oh, man, I love me some damn Kelly. She got the... Oh, man. That damn Kelly, man, she got the most beautiful smile and teeth in the world. Oh, man, I love me some Kelly. Uh, from Cindy Jackson, dude, yeah, you're Oprah. She think she got mad loot. I'm, st- I'm slanging D for them dollars. <laughs> oh, so you talking about the money. From Tiffany Poole in Portland in the chat room on Spreaker.com. What about that catfish mouth on Fantasia? Plus, yeah, cat... Uh, that's that's the proper way to put it. There's something wrong with Fantasia's mouth. Like her mouth is kind of catfish e. Uh, Tiffany Pool in Portland says she's thick though, but that thick tongue, no thanks. She's got a uh, one of them big tongues. She's lish tongue or whatever. Something wrong with her mouth, but I mean, I can kind of overlook that. Fantasia can get it. From Sydney Jackson, Tiffany Fantasia has a glorious mouth. I could do the same thing with that. Laugh out loud. From Felpe, my wife loving Morris Chestnut movies. I hate that ninja. <laughs> no. Um, like, I think my old lady got a, a, a thing for, for dogs can do, first of all. Clearly, obviously, with, with me. But I think she got a thing for taller guys, too. And not that I'm short or anything like that. <laughs> So punk ass Brian McKnight, he dark skin and he tall. I think my old lady like that, and I've always confronted her about this. Like every time Brian McKnight come on the damn TV, I turn and look straight at her and dare her to even turn and look at me. Uh, and I'm looking straight at her to see the expression on her face. Because early on when we first got married, she started talking about this dude, you know, in terms of maybe she didn't know that we were going to get married and be married for 22 years and have two kids. When we first started uh, seeing each other, she started talking about it. She, she's a fan of, of Brian McKnight. She loved Brian McKnight. So as the years have gone by, whenever this dude come on the TV, uh, we in the car and the Brian McKnight song comes on, I just turn and just give it a death stare. <laughs> Yeah, LD from the D. Man, did y'all see Rihanna at the game, number one? Yes, sir. Ball award to her for looking that good. She do look good, but she got an eight head on her. I talked about this on the show a couple of days ago. The first time I met Rihanna, 
uh, she came to the radio station that we worked at here in Atlanta, and um, and um, she was uh, she was beautiful. She was beautiful. This, this is right when she got started. I think maybe right after her first album came out, or slightly before her first album came out. And um, this was like 2005. Her first album came out 2005. Rihanna came strolling through the through the hallway at Star 94 and uh, the station that I worked at. And I was like, damn, she fine as hell, but she do got a head on her. Do not get in a head button contest with Rihanna. But we can overlook that. We can overlook that. From Loose Next Side, Doug, be like, man, F that singing, Ninja Brian McKnight. Yeah. Damn. If I see Brian McKnight out in them streets, man, we probably going to have to fight. He won't even know why. He will have no clue why this just uh, – Arbitrary ninja just picking a fight with him. <laughs> right. And I and I'm telling you, I would kick Brian McKnight's ass. Yeah. Yeah. I uh I'll kick Brian McKnight's ass. You let me see Brian McKnight on them streets. So if I ever see Brian McKnight and I end up getting a fight with him, it'll probably be posted in the newspaper and on the news or whatnot. Y'all will know why. Stewie's will know why. Tiffany Poole in Portland, comptroller of Enville. She says, I don't like women with big foreheads and fried egg uh, breasts. I'm cleaning it up a little bit. Yuckers. What's fried egg uh, uh, breasts? What, what's that mean? So I'm finding out something about Tiffany, which is very intriguing. Uh, I think Tiffany swing both ways. Ain't nothing wrong with that. That's up to you. That's your business. Right. I, 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 Tiffany, you know, she swing that way, depending on the night, depending on how much she had to drink. There's nothing wrong with that. That's fine. It's actually kind of intriguing, Tiffany. Yeah. I'm a slider sports guy. You would need a stepladder to kick Brian McKnight's ass. He's 6'4". Man, I'll kick that man in the back of his damn leg, UFC style. His ass will go down. Chop his big ass down, all tall and shit. Nobody stud no damn Brian McKnight. You let me see that ninja on the street. Rough buff. Y'all will know. Y'all will know before anybody else what the beef was about. Rough buff, X squad. Doug, Brian McKnight is from rough buff. He can throw them hands. Don't run up to me. Man, I'll never let an R&B ninja beat me. You crazy. Whatever. R&B ninja never kick my ass. Period. Period. You sing R&B, you're not kicking my ass. KC, if Doug fights Brian McKnight, Monica will probably jump in and be on Brian's side. She probably would. So what? You're listening to the Doug Stewart Show. I'm ducking and dodging. Rihanna is sexy AF. Um, I agree. She got a big-ass forehead. If you've ever, uh, man, I didn't know this until after the fact. Rihanna does, like, a a, a PG-rated video for a lot of her videos. I don't think it's all of her videos, but... A lot of her videos, she'll do one version that's PG, and she'll do another version that's, like, X-rated. Like, Rihanna gets naked in a lot of her videos, not totally naked. Like, she'll wear this sheer stuff that you can straight uh, see straight through. So you can see nipples and whatnot, man. Um, Rihanna got a real freaky side to her. <laughs> Yeah, so she got a real freaky side. Go to YouTube and search Rihanna R-rated video, and that'll probably pop up a list of videos where Rihanna is naked. Like, uh, I consider when you're able to see nips, that's naked, and camel toes and all of that stuff. Yes, Rihanna get down like that. Sluggo in the x Squad says, Sam, man, I heard about, uh, but didn't see it. He's full of ish, though. Tired of these Mickey Fickies feeling like they can say anything. Don't know what he's talking about. From Slade, you getting bodied by a singing ninja, Drake. Never happened. Maybe maybe with Drake and a, a rapper or something like that, but never happened. 
never happened. If it ever came to a point where me and, and Brian McKnight had a sanctioned fight, put all your money on me to kick Brian McKnight's ass. Yes, it's personal with me too. It ain't just a fight, it's personal. And Greggy Rihanna loved to show those boobies. She do. She loved to be naked and exposed. I'm a fan of that. From Sluggo, Riri is, is the loose side of the game. Them colonizers in Hollywood be having their way. Uh. From, um, who do we see? Yeah. From Big L X Squad. Didn't Usher beat Doug? Beat me in what? Basketball? We played uh, a charity basketball game together. His team didn't beat my team. I don't remember. No, but me and uh me and Usher never fought. If we if we fought, I'd definitely kick his ass. Usher's a little dude, 160 pounds, too light in the ass. From Rough Buff, we know what Doug does with his free time: X-rated Riri videos. No, I don't go out and seek. Is you know you know how you go to YouTube and you're watching a video, and then uh you know a, a video in the same genre or whatever pop up, and so I clicked on these videos, man. And realized that Rihanna liked getting naked. It's like not just one, but several. It's several. There's a video where she actually, it's like a little mini movie. And I don't know the name of the song. I'm not bit that big of a Rihanna fan. But in this particular video, man, Rihanna like kills her boyfriend and chops up the body and hides the body. She got a real creepy, freaky side to her. That evidently is working because she's been doing it big for a long, long time. Yeah. I think this chick has sold more records than anybody ever. A uh, female artist. So she's been doing it big. She will get freaky, though. You better believe that. All right, when we get back from the break, man, a little bit of Braves and Falcons talk. As well as maybe we'll touch upon uh, the Florida Gators picking up a quarterback. Yeah. Yeah. And more fun. Read more chat. Taking more phone calls. 404-382-0338. Uh, you can also email me at Doug at the Doug Stewart Show.com. Don't go away, the Doug Stewart Show. Should it stop if they stop shipping things? See why the boys flex, just like girls trip. I knew they had a plan to make us want to deal. They watch some drop our school, they watch some play the fool. So they could hit the streets, so they could see the truth. The truth was in our heart, the truth we never read. The truth was never said, the truth was never dead. The truth was dead on real, and we would never fade. Said that no need to hate. Go ahead, congratulate. See, God is on my side, and God is with our people. This ain't no other sequel, cause we were never equal. And let me tell y'all that I'm not in this game. For the fortune of fame, I just try to maintain. Because we want a meal, who said we had to kill? I know there's more to life than Jackie playing bills. Gotta lose. You sick of paying debts? We sick of paying dues. You know the one who that we belong to. So get your hands off our land, please, won't you? 
I'm living in the city, I'm living in the A, and this is for my people who struggle every day. It's simple mathematics, we learn it first.